Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Please like and subscribe, it helps the channel grow. And if you'd like, you can buy me a coffee. I'll put a link in the description. I'm helpless without my caffeine, and I record most of these in the middle of the night. So the Entomological Society of New Zealand has announced that it has decided on its bug of the year, which was new to me. I wasn't aware that they did this. I am familiar with the Entomological Society of America, but not at all with one for New Zealand. Uh, but more interestingly, this isn't even an insect that they elected. It's a distant relation, uh, and it's not even an arthropod. This year's bug of distinction is the New Zealand velvet worm, Peripatodes novae zealandiae. So, for those of you who are not familiar with these little animals, which I assume is probably most of you, this is a velvet worm, which is of the phylum Anikophora. And the Anikophora are a relative of the arthropods and also a close relative of the tardigrades, which you might be more familiar with as the water bears. Uh, so, this they all belong to the group, the pan arthropods. So, these aren't really arthropods, but they're kind of the missing link. They are fu functionally the evolutionary link between the arthropods and the annelids. So the earthworms and, and things like that and all their relatives. They have these long wormy bodies, but they look a bit more like a plushy centipede. They have segmented bodies. They have these fat stubby little legs with clawed feet. Uh, they have antennae. They have, you know, a chewing mouth. And they're covered with little nodules called papillae which are where they get the name velvet worms. They look quite fluffy. They primarily live in ground cover in forests. Some of them are cave dwellers, and you can find a few in a, like a prairie-like ecosystems. But they hunt around for small invertebrates, and they'll basically eat anything that they can get their gluey little hands on. And I say gluey because they shoot a glue-like substance from slime glands on the sides of their head. And they do this to immobilize prey, and they will also do this if they're uh, feeling disturbed or under threat. They'll use it defensively. They are mostly tropical or subtropical. And there aren't a ton of species, only about 200. And so it's unlikely that you would accidentally stumble across these. Even where they do occur, they tend to be very, very difficult to find. I believe they're primarily nocturnal. And they will sometimes live in communities controlled by a dominant female and these little velvet worms are actually hunt in packs. This particular species that was named Bug of the Year is only found in New Zealand, and like many of its relatives, it's extremely poorly studied. I will link the article in the description. It's very short if you want to read it, and I'll talk to you guys later.